The Dealing with the Dry Forums brings together keynote speakers, one of whom is a grain producer as well as a leading local agronomist, Drew Pemberthy. So my main talk today was on staff and, and some of the impacts during a drought. So it's not only the business owners and the farmers doing it tough during the drought. Um, the, the key thing that people forget about is what your staff are feeling as well, because they're going through similar issues. You know, they're worried about their jobs and their security, same as the farmers are. They're worried about income and how they're going to get through this dry period. So some of the big issues we, we run into with staff is keeping their enthusiasm to the point where we, you probably need to involve your staff in some of the decision making during the dry period more than you have before, just to keep them abreast of what's going on. Some of the things that a lot of people are doing is there's a lot of infrastructure being looked at with staff, so a lot more fencing, a lot more um, soil works, you know, erosion control, stuff like that that they normally don't put a lot of emphasis on, but to keep their staff on, they're doing those sort of things. Still a big cost to the business, but coming out of the drought should make their decisions a lot better going forward. You know, having, making sure they've got good water structures so when spraying does start again, when it does rain, um, they've got a really good system in place. So. There's a lot of um, funding for courses at the moment, which is free, through rural assistance and stuff like that. So that's a really good thing we're getting into. But other regions are doing similar things. There's been a few study tours some people went over to India. I know a lot have gone to America just doing study tours and going on those sort of things. One of the big things we've done is making sure people took holidays now out of their time, take the families away, spend time with the kids and all that sort of thing, because we can do it now. We're not under a huge uh, work pressure. Now's the time to be doing those sort of things, and I think that's really key for mental health is to get, you know, get your family away and go do something different for a while. If you put staff off during this hard time, what happens when it does break? You know, they're going to be hard to find stuff. There's a lot of people moving to the, to the cities during this dry time if they've been put off. And I can't see those people coming back. So that's a big consideration on every decision you make. Um, and if you take the short term view, it, it may come back and cause a lot of problems going forward. But every farm's different and everyone's got a different situation. And, some farms there isn't no, there's no extra work. A lot of people are finding other jobs for their staff with the equipment they've got, like excavators and dozers and trucks and stuff like that. And they're finding other jobs, contracting work to do with their staff, or they're finding alternative jobs for periods of time during this dry period. So when it does break, they're still able to come back on farm. We can still do our management decisions and do it timely. One of the other key things to remember is um, that you know, it's not on staff, it's not just yourself and the people working on the farm, but it's also the wives within the business because they take a, a lot of burden in this. Um, and quite often the, I see they get neglected in these period of times or the husband brings home all their troubles um, and no one gives those considerations to the wives because they're taking that burden just as much as everyone else and to the point where some of the kids are going back to school and they're worried that they're father and mother are struggling and they're going home and they're taking that back to their schooling. So this is the worst drought we've actually seen in history in this region but yeah just be prepared is probably the key to getting through this and we will we will get through it because we're resilient and we're farmers that's just the way we are. Go to the description bar below for the latest information links and resources.